So I'm excited to see this. Is Keyline Pie teleports in? Yeah, Keyline Pie getting really aggressive here and only going to be able to get one. It's an even trade. Polo goes down, but Jiggly Tofu keeps this even as Clays is now trying to disrupt from the back. But it's just going to TP out back towards B, which means that Adrenaline can get this plant down. Yeah, and both of really good players taking off the board for both teams as Minty finds Fufu. That's huge for Adrenaline. It allows Adrenaline to just start to play a little bit more passive on this post plant, but J-Star has no break so far as he's still pushing forward and gets one more as well. So everything falls onto Clays and Tofu to salvage this pistol round, and they won't be able to do it. Adrenaline start out strong. Clays getting a bit antsy, and Key Lime Pie just looking to put as much pressure as possible. But it looks like they are going to try and get the shower position now to try and crunch in the team as Tofu takes down Key Lime. Yeah, Toby starting it out good, and Fossey adds to it. Chad manages to take out Colo in the process, but this is still advantage for for the side of Boba. Up until Chad pushes out of shower here, and manages to collect another kill. So all of a sudden, this could spiral out of control. Clay's manages to keep things even, but Fufu is going to shut this round down, so Boba will avoid the bonus. A singer and a marshal to try and hold off on this, and... Polo even getting mollied by his own teammate is going to force him to back off of angle, but that doesn't matter. He hits an insane shot onto J-Star, and for once, we see Boba with an advantage in the round. Yeah, that is huge, but they still are on the eco, and the bomb is still towards this A site where three players of Boba are. I think Boba might kind of get a bit restless, and yeah, but it might early rotate. Colo doesn't want to take the bait. It does really feel like they're frazzled here. They don't exactly know what they want to do as... Both teams are really just trying to bait each other to push into each position, and it looks like Adrenaline are going for B, and they pop the Seekers. Yeah, I mean, they're just going to hit the eject button with those teleporters, and so now they get to bully this weak site. And so now it's going to be, once again, be a post-plant situation. Thrash does go out and manages to detain Chad, but no... Fossey isn't able to capitalize. This is absolute chaos, but somehow Boba are coming out on top. It's a 1v3 for Minty, and he's hit with the paranoia. Jumping around the site, though. Absolutely dancing here, but can't land the shots against Tofu. And so finally, Boba will break the streak. Just doing a default play. Them being down by one does suck quite a bit, but if they can find some sort of pick on someone, that definitely does give them some sort of leverage. Just please, finds Minty, and now it's a 3v5, and it's looking terrible for Adrenaline. Yeah, Clay's finally finding his form here, and so that's just going to continue to mount against Adrenaline here. Because if these players start waking up, Boba has shown themselves to be an absolutely terrifying force to go against. Fufu set up so well here on the B site with his utility, so they're just tr trusting him to hold it solo. Will he be able to hold off? these three attackers of Adrenaline as the fake teleport comes through and it gets sent out, but he's inside of the tube, so he's safe for this. Both cages go up, and so now he can just start to toy with these players, and Clay's as well is here to help him out. Clay's goes down, and J-Star with a great flick to cover his planter, and so now it's once again even man count as Adrenaline have recovered, and they all want to position towards this elbow. They want to try and cut off Boba quickly here. They haven't been taking these aggressive stances as much, and it's gonna catch Boba off guard as Keyline Bai gets two and Tofu's now in a 1v2. A great shot though to open this up. Brings it to the 1v1 against Keyline Pai and he pulls it off. Boba continue going forward. It's like, there's still so much left to see of this matchup. Such a weird position for these teams, but as all the utility goes out, it's Fufu to light up the kill feed. Luckily traded it back. Tyler C and J Star contribute to try and keep things even. But as the thrash is sent out, Chad will be detained and then we'll have to rely on the coverage. It's good coverage though, so it's a 1v2 for Fossey as everything is settled out with a neural theft. They know that he will be on into this double stack from Adrenaline and Tyler C will finish out this round, not even needing the orbital strike. All unified and hitting one spot. So it's the classic tale of the hammer. Will they be able to just burst through the sights or will Adrenaline be able to hold out so far? Clays is able to best key line pie in the your differential, so it's gonna be Boba getting an early plant in this crystal round. Yeah, it was definitely a misplay. I mean, they found a really nice flash, but the amount of numbers for 
Boba were there and Jiggly Tofu peeks out, kills J Star. That is a huge 5v3. A lot of damage as well on the Chad. So Chad will go down with just one shot of the classic here. There's no way to get that HP back. So now it's Adrenaline scrambling to try and get out of this position. They're just wrapping around the site. And all these positions from Boba are well, but Adrenaline are just winning the fight. So things have been flipped on their head. Colo with the Lurk, though, is possibly going to be so huge. Left in the one beat. <laughs> and he gets it! Colo clutches to keep Adrenaline, or to keep Boba moving forward. Yeah, and so now we have to see adrenaline and what they're capable of in the retake. Time to jump. It's yeah. gonna be a bit of a slow approach here as they're just wrapping around elbow, but Boba in their classic fashion is just aggressing it. What a lineup from Minty though gets two, but everything is going Boba's way outside of that as Colo steps up in the sight. JSR is thrust into the clutch and can't handle Tofu. Plays might have a fight with J Star start of this round. Yeah, definitely a bit of an oversight from Fossey there, and we're gonna see if that's gonna spiral out of control here for the side of Boba. It's certainly happening in this round as Adrenaline have fully bulldozed them on every engagement spread across the map, but it doesn't matter because Adrenaline get a flawless round. Thriving once again. Especially in an eco situation, you don't have something like phantoms and vandals that can just really spam away at the spike. You've got sheriffs, you can't just be tossing bullets at it. Luckily though, they are getting a little bit more success with tossing bodies at this B site. But if the orbital strike coming in, Blaze is going to go down. Hold keeps it even, and it even manages to contribute even more. Colo has been such a massive factor for the success of Boba here. It's the 1v2 for Chad. He's managed to isolate Tofu, but the flank is coming around. I don't know if Chad is aware of this, and Tofu is just stalling time. His shots though from Fufu, so Chad has a chance, but Tofu's there for the trade. Plays, but he's certainly fallen behind, and it's just been the Colo show. Plant will go down, so at least Boba are consistently getting that. But is it just gonna have to be another insane heroics from Colo? Let's see. Bossy will be the first engagement here as the Boomba goes down and a crash goes out, detains two players. So Bossy's able to get at least one. Quickly traded back though. Adrenaline are looking to try and pull off this retake. And with Clay's going down, it's gonna be the Seekers available. So now they can just press these Adrenaline players. Colo left in a 1v3 and can't manage it. Key line pie on the 3k to find match point for Adrenaline. And they have two info gathering ultimates. So now we see Boba having to make another attack but this time they have to worry about Adrenaline being aware about all the positions. As the uh, dimensional drift will be popped, JSTAR is looking to act off of it. Fossey though with the Bucky gets the opening kill. Colo contributes as well. And so now it's gonna be an advantage here. However, with the Neural Theft going out, Minty's able to pick up a double kill, keeping Adrenaline in this. And Minty is going nuclear right now. 3K on the round. It is looking to single-handedly dismantle Boba as he gets four and adrenaline find map one. He hit early in this game. Yeah, Boba looking to just try and take advantage of the Neon to create space onto the C site. Minty just in the back, though, inside of a smoke, will take out Fossey. So that Neon will find absolutely no value in this round. And the rest of Boba are going to have to step up. But it's Minty who closed map one, opens up map two, and gives an early advantage here for Adrenaline. Clay's trying to step up, and Fufu has okay. slipped the met net. Fully on the flank here. Spike is being defused though, and Fufu is just gonna walk in, get one kill, but now he's left in a 1v2 with the spike at half, and Tyler C will take him down. So Adrenaline continue their streak of excellence. Enough to get it.
I imagine most of Adrenaline's utility is going to be put into setting up Key Lime Pie to try and snowball those Blade Storms into a round win. As the Sonar, doubt, as the sonar Dart will go out onto the site, it's going to be Key Lime Pie to find the opener for the round. Dashing forward gets Fossey as well, but Clay's trades it back, so now the Lesser Weaponry has got to make the difference, and they can't. It's too strong from Boba. Tyler C left in a 1v2, and he's not going to be able to pull it off most likely in this round but with the overdrive pop it's gonna be just fossey going aggressive up the middle of the site on the other side of the map though jstar manages the best fufu so gets a rifle recovered and now colo has to address this flank he'll do exactly that and this is all coming down to these post plant positions for boba they're looking so strong lockdown does come out so they have to evacuate the site and this gives a foothold for adrenaline they can start to blood into this site with the flash going out it's actually a bit of a team flash a bit of panic here from the side of adrenaline but key lime pie is looking to thrive in it colo though and fossey are too much to handle and so now as adrenaline are running out of time they're also running out of chances as the 1v3 made 1v2 for tyler c but with the spike already gone it's looking completely unwinnable so far with these shares gonna look for a potential pick as Boba does push up. And they just want to be aggressive here, and it's going to get them a little bit of success. They find themselves on a 4v4. It makes it a 3v3 as Colo and Chad exchange blows. And Chad is able to finally come out on top. Fufu, exactly. though, there to keep I things found. even. But Minty is right back in it. Adrenaline are not relenting from this round. Have really impactful things as they're going to look to push in. Oh, I've changed it up. They've been playing passive on their post plants for a while now. And so they're able to just get ahead of these smokes because adrenaline's just not ready for them to be this aggressive. Yeah, definitely. And I think that they just might do it. The only notable ultimate on the side of Boba is the Blade Storm on Key Lime Pie. He gets the first kill onto Clay's and still has an opt to pop the Blade Storm itself. Instead, tr trusting this Vandal, but Minty goes down to Tofu. So now we're looking at Tyler C in this forward position and long, but he can't do anything against neon, the Neon. Man. And so now it's just the C site secured and Fossey pops the over. He said he didn't want to see a Neon because this Neon is so annoying as they're going to push on site. It's just completely dismantled the side of Adrenaline here. And as the Funtress Fury goes out, it actually doesn't land anything. So now they've wasted one of their biggest stall factors. And Colo in from the garage position is expected. He's been here multiple times, but Jiggly Tofu from long is contributing. It is all left up to him in the 1v2 and he can't even stop the defuse. Finally, it's going to be a round from Adrenaline get the map of victory it's gonna be key line pie dashing forward onto the spy site but with these trip wires up clays can just spam through that smoke and get the kill colo goes down to minty but these trap wires are causing so many problems however it's been adrenaline winning most of the fights but it's gonna be what a punch back from the side of boba as everyone from adrenaline goes down here it is a pistol around everyone does this but they just know yeah, I mean, they just, like you said, they're aware that this is coming through on the B site, so everybody is set up to counteract this. Colo goes for two, Tofu contributes one as well, and still has a Marriott of utility to throw out. Tyler C, though, manages to get two, so he's keeping them in this round, but Fossey, dashing in through the smoke, manages to finish it off. It's a labored round, but one for Boba nonetheless. Flynn, they have the guns, they have the firing power, and this looks all but one so far, unless we see something crazy. Yeah, Hunter's Fury popped here, and Fossey's actually able to cut off Chad, who was lit up earlier by that Marshall, and now Colo able to get one onto Key Lime as well. Just can't spiral out of control for Adrenaline here. Surely not on a thrifty. J Star looking to face down multiple of these players, but Colo's recovered a rifle. Traded back quickly, though, and J Star goes down. It is a rogue energy thrifty for Boba to find match point. Very aggressive here. There's a lot of damage from the shock dart though, so Key Lime Pie is just gonna send it into the site. However, Clay's manages to get the smoke bang onto him. 
So now he's just going to try and TP out, but a Tyler C just gets him off the back of the recon scan. A bit of an odd decision there. And so now Fufu left to recover. I mean, definitely. And as this plant goes down, at least Adrenaline will have a way to hold off here. But with the Rolling Thunder coming through, it's actually from the attackers. But there's a response immediately from the side of Boba. So they will secure map two and send us to Lotus. All of Boba is just going to back off here right into the waiting arms though of Minty. A Prowler will be sent out to force him back. As the haunt also comes through. Minty under a lot of pressure, pops up his cages and stands strong against Boba. Only good for one. Tyler C though is there to support. So gets another and there's so many that's gonna be a fast push. A great set of utility comes out. It's a paranoia and a hunt, but all the individuals from Boba are stepping up. Colo and Clay is good for one apiece. T-Line Pi trying to switch shift the tide of this round, but left in a 1v2, can't manage to do so, and Boba continue their dominance. Once again, a 5v5 post plan, but like you said, both these teams are fully equipped, so we're not seeing Fosse in a position where he has to set himself up in a vulnerable spot just to try and close the gap. However, Showstopper coming through is gonna possibly be a problem. Tyler C also gets the opening kill on the Fosse here. And so it's all gonna come down to the spam from Boba Balls. They've already sent out the Aftershock. They're sending out so much utility, but none of these gunfights are going this way. It is all adrenaline in the feed. And as the defuse is stuck, it's gonna be their round. Across the map here, looks like they're going to decide on the seaside as Clay's has managed to get into a very aggressive position here in Waterfall. This plant will be going down. I don't know if Clay, they're aware of Clay's, but Chad gets him taken out. Clay's gets the dink early on, but not able to finish off the kill. And so that's going to give over the Seekers now. It's This is such a rough situation for Bobo. We need to see one of their individuals step up massive here. And that individual is usually Colo as it's a spam post plant on the mound position. Clay's messing up the round, making it so hard for Boba to play this as here we go. Showstopper has been popped and is sent towards the spike, but it doesn't land. And none of these spams are landing, but nobody's sticking the spike from Adrenaline. And finally, it's Boba to start lighting up the kill feed. It's all left up to Tyler C, holding the defuse in the smoke. Boba, come on, you have to shoot him. No, it's the defuse. The what a toss from Boba. Dude got spotted by the camera, so I'm hoping for some sort of rotate coming through. Bossy is going to go on the site real fast with the Showstopper. And the showstopper is popped. And he sends it out towards Minty. Does a lot of damage, but Minty manages to get away with his life and even gets healed up by the sky. So he's not quite out of this round yet, and neither is Tyler C. As he gets the kill onto Fufu, the Lurk will not be present inside of this round. It's going to come down to the fundamentals of the site hold. Colo going down, an impact player for Boba is removed forcefully, and Fosse can't get anything. This is looking like an adrenaline retake in the books thing akin to that because haven certainly was a bit of a disappointment so they're just looking to barrel in towards the seaside the though damage. it's so much damage from the utility adrenaline go down early without even having a single gunfight being taken colo though not a lacquer in that aspect at all though as jiggly tofu and him will shut down this round I mean, definitely, but it could possibly oh, be another again. trap play set up as, yeah, they hit the door and, oh my god, so much damage from the UT and a collateral from Fosse as well to help him out, but he's just going to fall back. It's going to be a retake here for the side of Boba as they send out so much util. J Star doesn't have anywhere to go. Caught between a Aftershock and a Paint Shell. And so now Adrenaline have to step up. It's going to have to be the individual efforts. Chad was a big key on their last round win here on the C site. Can he replicate that a success? No, he goes down. So we look to Minty and Tyler C. Tyler C gets one. And Minty, ready on the smoke fade, gets one more. Can't best food. 
Fufu, and it comes down to a 1v1. Tyler C wrapping around though. Fufu just on the defuse, gets the half. He's holding it, but Tyler C wraps around and gets the gets the win. The flying someone that's randomly somewhere has a neural fab. Yeah, it's just gonna be such a commitment from you from of utility here from the side of adrenaline and through the smoke key lime pie gets fufu and destroys the lockdown absolutely insane here as it's gonna be adrenaline looking to tack on match point here the plant will go down and boba once again have to look at a retake I feel like I'm watching new genes from yesterday. I'm just seeing silly mistakes and Fufu, knowing that there's a showstopper in play, throws down the lockdown as they're getting pushed now. Yeah, lockdown, or rather showstopper pop for Fossey though, sends it up towards Tyler C and managed to get the kill, but not able to get any more clays on the spike defuse, but not able to get it to half. And it is match point for adrenaline. Something with this phantom and we need to see clays pray that he survives here. Yeah, he's gonna be under a lot of pressure and as the guiding line goes out, he throws out a paranoia of his own. It's gonna hit a few players, but Chad is able to finish him off here. And in the matchup of the hammer versus the scalpel, it looks like the more precise object will be pulling through here as Adrenaline find the A site. They get the plant down and the neural theft even goes out so they will know the positions of all these defenders. But it's a quick fight back by Boba. They are not standing down down it's key line pie to step up for two and make it three as he looks to secure this map victory for adrenaline they all fall back and just try to play these passive positions to round down the time fufu in a 1v2 bulldog but only 45 hp and he will go down adrenaline said that anybody on any day can defeat any team but that philosophy has completely shattered against them.